came here this morning, uh, Sam organized the flight. I arrived 16 hours. After 16 hours flying, 6.30 in the morning, I thought I'd be tired, but I'm not tired at all because of the energy that you have given me. Thank you. Love you, love you. Now, now they've asked me. Now they've asked me to answer your questions. Yes. See few, that few questions. That that also would not happen in a BJP meeting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no questions there. Okay. Only answers. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Could you please sit down? Thank you. Thank you. So we have many organizations which support. Four or five it. questions. Yes, sir. Okay, quick. Yes. Or or opinions. It doesn't. Whatever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we have. Ask people questions. They automatically assume <laughs> opinion is included. Yes. So we have uh, we have women who played major contribution for this program to be successful. We have women empowerment organization which helped us to make this event successful. So they have a question specific to women, and uh, I would request. Uh, Ms. Chansi Redigaru to ask that mic, question. Welcome, Ra Rahul Ji, for uh, California. And, um, as a Women Empowerment Telugu Association, my name is Chansi Reddy. So I would like to ask you qu two questions regarding this women bill that has been, uh, you know, in the in the in the court for uh, almost more than half a century. So when the Congress comes in power, which women's bill? The women's women's reservation yeah. rights. So that bill has been there for more than a quarter century. So, as a Congress leader, what is your thoughts on it, and how are you going to deal with it? That's of my first question. The second question is, you know, in India, it's very hard for a woman as a safety issue. So what are we going to, you know, offer our next generation of the girls in India? Thank you. So on the Women's Reservation Bill, we are committed to that. We wanted to pass it in the last government, but some of our allies were not too happy with it, uh, and they didn't give us the support for that bill. But I'm confident when we come to power, we'll pass that bill. Uh, it's, I think it's... I think part of the answer to your second question lies in the first question. If we empower women, if we involve women in the political system, if we give women space in the governance of the country, uh, if we give women space in the businesses of the country, we will automatically make them safer. So I think involving them in politics, involving them in business, involving them in running the country are the way to give them power. 